Hey everyone, this is my 73 Camaro that I restored about two years ago. It's got a 1999 6 liter in it with L92 heads and a Texas Speed 225 230. Current setup did 430 at the wheels and around a 1224 at 116. So this winter time I'm going to be boosting the car as uh, a turbo build. I'm going to be running a 7875 on it now. So I started by deleting the heater box here just to make room for the downpipe. I designed these manifolds in CAD just using off the shelf steel elbows. They're a couple bucks each, they're super cheap. Next I purchased some 3 8 inch thick header flanges and inch and a half schedule 40 pipe elbows here. So the log itself is a 2 inch pipe. All this is going to work together with the 2 and a quarter inch crossover. So I made a jig first to help hold the flanges. Next I machined a piece here to center the elbow and the flange. Then I started cutting some angles based off of my CAD measurements. So you can get really accurate tube elbow cuts if you just measure three locations. So you see here I, I get the circumference of the cut uh, in three different locations. It's just the basic arc length formula you use to get that. Then your cut comes out to the perfect angle. So for both these manifolds I started by welding the two inch to inch and a half reducer. I built a wooden jig here to get everything nice and square. So as far as getting the actual coping of the tubes, uh, you can just print these pipe templates online and it gives you a really good starting point for getting your angles right. Then you just simply trace the template onto the tube you're going to cut and then you just grind it to suit. So when I'm welding I just use magnets to hold everything together and a lot of this stuff you could just about eyeball near the end. I didn't really have to use the angle finder all that much. You see this time of year it rains like crazy in DC. So the driver's side is just a total copy of the passenger side. The two manifolds are just about identical. So after I built the driver's side, then I broke all the tacks on these. So lastly, I drilled out the log here just with an inch and a half hole saw, cleaned up the welds a little bit on the inside. So you can see here, I got the manifolds all final welded. I just TIG welded them together. I didn't really take any videos of that, unfortunately. So where I'm at now, I've got the manifolds essentially done. I'm ready to start fabricating the hot side crossover. Uh, you can see here what I did is I mounted the turbo flange, I uh, welded it to a piece of steel and just bolted that piece of steel uh, down onto my subframe and what that does for me is it's just gonna, it's just, I just know I can, I can kind of work with this location for the turbo for the most part so now I'm going to start running the hot side over there. I should be back in a week or two with some updates so thanks for checking it out. I'll see you later.